Hello there guys, gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in close to the sun. Now this awesome Bioshock inspired action adventure game was developed by Storm in a Teacup, published by Wired Productions and it's usually available for £20.99 slash $24.99 but is now included with Game Pass. Oorah! So we play as Rose Archer, no relation to Sterling Archer as she aboards the mega giant Helios ship in search of her sister Ada and then soon she realises not all is quite as it seems as the smell is rotten, the hallways are empty and lunatics roam the halls. French death. Now as for achievements, the majority are very easy, it's basically getting every collectible in each level but there are two tricky annoying ones and that's for beating the whole game without dying and completing the game in less than three hours. Now. Cloud save sinking trick or the cloud save sinking trick does work, but as you'll see in a second or 12, there is a little bit of a workaround. So if you're playing like legit, legit, uh, anywhere between six to eight hours, but if you're going to do what I'm going to be showing you in the next 20 seconds or so, well, that'll be between two to three hours is all you'll need. And so with that being said, then let's do it now. We're going to start a new game, and then what we're going to do is, and this, by the way, is from the incredibly hilarious and awesome Baby Gamers Suck on True, true Achievements. But basically, old King Not the God, he has found uh, some console commands. So, again, there are two ways that we can do this one. The first way, of course, is console command. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, in the description box, I'm going to put a link to the uh to the baby gamers suck true achievements uh, page and it'll tell you all there what to do but what you can do if you just wanted to if you wanted to play the game normally um and but you still wanted to get the two difficult achievements out of the way so you can enjoy the rest of the game what you'll need to do is plug a keyboard into your xbox so plug a keyboard into your xbox start a new game as we can see here and then you'll need to type the little dash thing and then type travel space escape pod area. Or if you put in travel and then escape, what you can do then is just press up on the arrow button once and that will uh, take you to the escape pod area. That will then take you to the end of the game right here and you should have three achievements pop in. And that'll be for, again, completing the game in less than three hours, completing the game with no deaths and completing the game... Uh, basically in its entirety. So again, I'm only showing you this bit just to sort of give you a choice. Again, the rest of the game we're going to play um, through legit and very, uh, very much normally because it's a cracking game. It's a really, really good game. And just in case if something gets, you know, um, patched or something in the future, then obviously uh, it'll be obviously good to just have this game, um, uh, this guide all up and waiting. So again, Thank you to North and, uh, you know, the Baby Gamers Suck True Achievements thing right there, uh, True Achievements page. Uh, but again, like I said, I'll put the description in the, uh, put the True Achievements link in the uh, description box below, because if you want to do it the uh, console command way, it'll have all the information for you right there. But again, if not, uh, you can just go ahead and continue following this guide. So we begin properly now with the prologue. For that, and so much more to come, I apologize. I didn't board the Helios knowing what would happen, only that pursuing my research could change the world. And we did! Just not in the way I'd imagined. Not yet, anyway. I want to explain everything now, so that you'd see that there is nothing to fear. You've always tried to protect me, my big sister, but this was meant to be. It's now my turn to protect you, if only so that things unfold the way they are meant to. Time and necessity has kept us apart, but that is about to change. We need you here aboard the Helios with me. I've enclosed a receiver, and as the name implies, it can receive signals through which we will communicate. I know little of this will make any sense right now, but I also know that you will keep your promise. I love you. Your sister, Ada. Pretty light on details there, Ada. You leave without warning and now need me aboard the Helios? <laughs> oh yeah, this can only go so well, huh? 
Right, so, again, this is the prologue. There are no collectibles. Uh, I mean, there's things you can pick up, but there's nothing, no collectibles in terms of achievements, so we can just walk straight at the door. The X button will be to, uh, is the, basically the action button. The A button is to jump. You can jog slightly forward with the left trigger or left bumper, and you can zoom in with the right trigger slash right bumper as well. Uh, so that's uh, pretty much all you need to know. So... First of all, we head, uh, when we came out of the room, we needed to head to the right, which is basically now straight in front of us. Um, we can go to the right side and just head straight in. So again, whichever way, as I said, um, as we're just going to go straight through the door, whichever way you're going to do it, remember the cloud save sinking trick does work, but be warned, every time that you quit out of the game, um, you will unfortunately be sent straight back to the beginning of the chapter. So... Bit of a pain, bit of a pain. But anyway, open up the door. We're going to press the button straight in front of us, and that's going to get the beginning credits rolling. Hurrah! Um, so, yes. That's, um, obviously, that's the, it'll be the last time I uh, talk about it. But again, now, personally, I did use the uh, cheeky console commands for just those two achievements because, I mean, beating the game without dying, it's not... Terribly hard, but there's a couple of chasings. But I basically died. I think it was on chapter six, chapter six and chapter eight, I think, and it was just two of the chase scenes. Um, so you can get through it quite easily. It's a short enough game if you're just blasting through. But obviously, you know, it depends. I mean, people want to play without the added stress of dying and. Getting mashed up from behind by a big monster where he's going to fist you straight in the back hole. Uh, not just the back, I meant. You know what I mean. But still. Uh, so anyway, that's uh, d doing it uh, whatever particular way you want. If you're choosing to go through the entirety of the game with the console commands, what you can expect to find on uh, Baby Gamers Suck Forum on True Achievements is basically... Uh, you can nip through the game by using God Mode, Ghost uh, Mode, Walk Mode, etc. So you can do all that. But again... I'm doing it the almost, I'd say 95% proper way, uh, just to show you where all the collectibles and everything are. Again, just in case this does end up getting patched out, and, you know, you there, I then have to do a new video, blah, 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 but anyway. So, let's crack on with it. You know what to do, it's your decision, you do what you want, my beautiful beloveds. The border of Hermes. Hermes Conrad? Yes, we all know who Hermes Conrad is, thank you. Babylon man. Right, so, this, this, yep, yeah, this is it then, Let, let's begin. So, like I said, left trigger to slightly jog, A button to jump, slightly. Um, now again, any time that you get hit by, you know, electricity or fire or anything like that, you will die straight away. Um, your fall damage isn't the best either, um, you... If, even if you jump off a slightly high ladder, you will cause yourself to bleed, which is not very good, but still. So again, X button then, we are going to climb up the ladder. And again, you know what, I've seen a snail move quicker climbing up the bloody ladder. Um, but again, this is just a... Uh, obviously, it's it's a bit prologue so we're just going to keep on continuing forward. And then, if we can then go into the left-hand side booth here... We're going to flick a switch, again with the X button, remember that'll be the action button. So straight in front of us, there it is, and then the bridge will descend, it will extend, sorry. And then we can move forward. Warden Cliff, a company distributing electricity to half of the world, and yet still hungers for that other half. Quarantine. Oh, we all know what's going to happen here. Slam. Shut. Ah, oh, God. Damn it. Anyway. First of all, we're going to head to the right, 
uh, where you've just seen that sort of IE reception bit, up these little steps to the right next to these chairs, and on this chair then is the first collectible of the level. It is a passport, and welcome, Mr. Nicholas Ford. He, he is the one that uh, uh, afforded a Ford in the Ford place. So anyway, go back down the way we came, basically back to the beginning, then we head to the other side, and then we are going to climb over. Again, as I said, it'll be the X button all the time, so you'll get used to that one pretty quickly. Um, now, this does have a Bioshock feel to, to it, doesn't it? It's not just me. Uh, anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to head towards the elevator, but we're going to take a left in just a mo. This left. And then we're going to take another left into the door right now. And again, it is quite dark, so I do apologize if some pa some parts are quite dark. Take a left again, and then we're going to go into this little room. Hello, Nikola Tesla. How's your Tesla? Uh, go inside, go to the left, and that's the first override switch done. There is another one, plus a whole bunch of collectibles to grab. So, head to the left again. And take a right, and we're actually going to go up these steps and up the ladder. Whether you are friends or foe, do watch your Gee. And then we're going to turn around, and there's going to be the second passport right in front of us now. Passport number two. Let's have a look who we got. We got little, uh, little die bishop, mate. Oi, die, get back to London, mate. Accompanied miner. Well, you better get out of the mines then, isn't he? Right, so uh, if we can drop down the ladder. As you can see, we almost split our ankle in two. Drop down, head to the right through this next door. And then we're going to take another right. All the way to the end. And we're going to take a door through the left here. <gasps> oh my god! Nothing spooky is going to happen yet, don't worry. But on the passport, uh, on the desk is another passport. It's old Sylvie Bishop. She's an art exhibitionist, and she's got her minor son with her, and a couple of cockroaches popping out there for good measure. Delicious. Right, going back the way we came, so back through to the door on the left. We're going to take another left, go past the ladder this time, and this is the first of the pneumatic tubes. Now, there's only one, I think, of these a level. One or two a level sometimes. Um, but these, we do need to collect these for a, a separate collectible achievement later on. So once you've read that one... And uh, we can go backwards. We're going to head all the way back out the way we came and back towards the elevator. Right ho, mate. So, once we are here, uh, next to the elevator, continue on down the hallway. That's the next room we need to go in. Kind of looks like a warship-type room or something. Uh, so, we're going to head down. And we're going to take a little left. Somebody's there, just being all spooky. Oh, no, yeah, don't hurt me. And then we're going to go through this next door here on the left. This is the next room we need to go into. One, find the over switch. In fact, there's two passports in here as well. So what you need to do then is uh, press the action button a couple of times until both arrows are pointing upwards. One upper dollar bill out. Two upper dollar bill That's going to open up the door. And then we can, uh, onto the left is the next override switch. Uh, make sure to grab the passport. There is a passport in here as well, just on the desk behind us. Um, I'll apparently come back and get that in just a minute. But the next one is next to this big, uh, big massive table of sorts. And it's not this one. But if we look onto the opposite side. There she blows, matey. Good old, uh, this guy. Zhang Huan Choi, he is, yeah, he's my homie, he's my dog. Right, uh, let's just quickly go back into the room with the little puzzle bit. Straight on the desk then, there is the next passport, and that's going to be Ananya Patel, and that's going to be all aboard. So all collectibles have been collected in Chapterini 1, so now we can just go ahead, go up the elevator, and end the first chapter. Get out of it, get inside. Boom! Come on! Let's go and find Ada the Adder. Ah! What the hell? Hey! Hey! Shit! Sweet llamas of the Bahamas. Sweet gorilla of Manila. Sweet ghost of Babylon. Sacred boar of Western Eastern Samoa. 
Sacred Hog of Prague. Uh, we done it. So yeah, now we've got a couple of those Hermes Conrad quotes out of the way. Sweet Yeti of the Serengeti. Sweet Bongo of the Congo. Right, now we can move on with chapter two. So uh, yeah, so I had to get a couple of Hermes quotes in there for the lols and the laughs and the bants and the bants. Right, so once we get inside, what we're going to do is we're going to continue straight up and then right at the top of these stairs is going to be a bell. What you're going to do is ring that bell at least 10 times for two deliciously easy achievements to unlock. Holy shit, Rose! Ada! What the hell are you doing here? Wait, what? Ada, you told me to come. I've got your letter right here. That... that doesn't make any sense. So there we go, once you've rang it enough times, you should get two customers, uh, demanding customer and lousy service. Next, we'll go past the uh, pictures of Nikola Hitler, uh, Nikola Tesla, sorry. Head to the right, and you're gonna find this little statue. It's gonna be all, I mean, to be fair, mind, if uh, you've got to be quite egotistical, egotastic to have a big gold statue of yourself in your own house or your own ship or whatever. Anyway, continuing on forwards, again, this is a, another short chapter, and then we get to chapter three, which is the longest of the game. Uh, but we're going to squeeze in, and there's going to be a little bit of a cutscene that's going to happen. Um, you can sort of walk around, but you can't do anything. So you just sort of have a look at some people and have a chill out for five. And then all the collectibles are in this room after this scene. Anyone? Whoa, bro, that was weird. It's like being on the trip of a lifetime and not going anywhere. Right, anyway, first of all, then, let's grab the first few collectibles after a scary noise. Go to the left here as you get to the bottom of the steps. And there's going to be a mask in this uh, on this table, so we're going to give that one a little pickup. Next, go back past these stairs, or uh, towards the statue, sorry. And right on the edge of the corner here is the second collectible of the level. You can explain nothing, man! Right, uh, continue going to the right of where we just found that next statue going around. Another couple of uh, Hitler's looking pictures right here. Even though he hasn't been in power yet because it's 1897. And right at the end, next to this seti, is the third mask. And basically what we're finding then is the new uh, members of Slipknot. It's the new Slipknot masks, which we are finding in, uh, <laughs> which we are finding in troves at the minute. Right, so uh, go back on yourself, go back towards these steps. And there is a fourth mask right here, just on the planter next to the stairs. That should be four that you've collected. Then we can head down past the old Chungus of Statuness. And then if we take a left towards the bar, this is going to be the final collectible. Uh, right on the bar here, pick it up. And this is actually Corey Taylor's mask himself. And there we go. So that's all the collectibles already done. Carnival! Or, you know, before I... Uh, before I forget, or, you know, left behind, or, you know, something, one of the arson tracks of Slipknot. Uh, anyway, get behind the, uh, you know, spit it out, that's a classic one as well. Uh, so what we need to do then is basically get the code for 142, and it's pointing to the right. So what you need to do is get the 4 on the outside first, and then, again, it's, it's kind of weird and sort of tricky, this one. Um, but basically, you just need to keep going until you hit it. It's going to be the same every time, but it is going to be one, four, two. So I do apologize. I said four was on the outside. No, four was in the middle. One, four, two.
Jesus, on a behemoth. So he did uh, take my sweet ass down there, didn't I? Right, anyway, grab the Faraday uh, elevator key card. Continue on forwards, straight towards the elevator, and that will be the end of chapter two, after you uh, crap your pants with some birds. That's what birds are designed for, and yes, birds are real. I wonder if there's anyone actually around who, who believes birds are actual robots. Man, people will make up anything these days for a laugh. So welcome to chapter three, the home of blooming Hestiental. And uh, yeah, so it probably doesn't seem it, but this is the longest chapter in the game. Um, but again, it's not too bad. Uh, it's literally just a case of doing some puzzles and chilling out. And we're going to find out exactly what that smell is in just a moment. So we head forward, head to the left, this door right here. And uh, get ready for a surprise. A lot of protein for you in this room if you need it. Did you reach my apartment district yet? Yeah. But this door <laughs> won't open. Easy there, champ. Try putting your considerable weight behind it. Yeah. <laughs> Ada, who or, or what did this? We don't, we don't know yet, but right now we need to get you safe. Make your way to the center of the apartment complex. There's a generator that will open the gates. Focus on that for now. I'm on my way. I'll broadcast to you again shortly. Be careful. <laughs> did I say protein? I mean brotein or brain teen. Uh, yeah, a lot of dead people, uh, a lot of dead people in this game. Look, he's been... Literally disemboweled. That's an incredible death of sorts. Uh, but continue on forwards, getting out of the smelly zone, as it were. And then we will continue forwards again. Um, obviously just heading around. There's only one sort of path that we can take for the time being. Ah! Don't scare me like that. Anyway, what you're going to see is a, um, a vision of the past coming out of the door. That's the door we are going to go through ourselves. And then, again, it's a kind of a little puzzle. So what you need to do then is put it down to the emergency power line. And then if you have a look up, it'll tell you what you have to do. So it's one, one, two, one, three. So obviously, one's the left, two's the middle, three is the right. So you just got to type this in. So one, one, two, one, three. And then once that one boots up, we can then power up the one on the end. There we go. And now we need to find out where Ada, where the... Other one is the Ada one. So go back in yourself and start heading down the stairs. Ada, oh, about damn time. What took you? <coughs> and when we do get down the stairs, we're gonna head to the left, and the first pneumatic tube of this level is here. So make sure to get this P tube out. Oh, I haven't hurt anyone. And uh, we're also speaking to Aubrey as well. So uh, a couple more. Um, collectibles to grab. So first we're going to head to the right. We're going to go over this pretty little path of waterness and benchness. We're going to then take a left right about now and just in the fountain is going to be a picture to grab. So pick that one up and go, here. Yeah, this is a nice married couple. I wish I was married. <laughs> no, I don't. Sorry. 
Um, anyway, just continue on going back on yourself. Uh, what you're going to see now on the right is like an electri electric room that we can actually get in. So uh, that'll be your sort of point of, you know, your landmark point. So go past the electrical death room for a minute. Towards where it says rail station. We're going to take a right now and then up the ladder immediately to our right. Up the ladder is the next photo collectible. We'll have enough of a backbone to actually do something. Ah. What the hell was all that about? That was exotic energy. So, what would, uh, now I do go a bit, uh, the, the long way about this. So, basically, what you can do is go where it says rail station, go to the left, go up the, the stairs, and then climb over the boxes to get to Ada's apartment to get the story progressed. Um, but I actually done it the long way, and I've come this way to get the collectibles, and then, yeah, so do apologize about that. But anyway, uh, in this room with the chessboards here is the Steinitz key card, that is a collectible as well. So once you grab that, again, that was just past the electric room. So up the stairs we go. And if we continue onwards, we are just about to find a room that we can go in directly to our left. Now, hello, we're actually going to be going for a miscellaneous achievement. So, um, just where the vision is right there, there's going to be two key cards. So we're going to steal them from him. Since, you know, he is a vision and he pretty much can't see what's going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what you're going to do, you're going to turn around and the room on the left, which is now basically directly in front of us, nip inside here and you will get the happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Burr, burr. Um, achievement. Ah, Jesus criminy. And that is a loud pop as well. And I did actually crap my pants the first time I'd done that. Right, so once you've done that, make sure to grab the collectible here off the bed as well. A photo of a beautiful lady. It's what I would look like if I was a lady. That was basically OnlyFans back in the day, that was. You know, pictures that would take weeks to get to you uh, to show off a bit of ankle. Woof, bloody hell, Sam. They had it good. Um, anyway, you can go into this uh, left side room here. Basically, there is a passport which is on the bed. Um, I don't think this is necessary for the achievements, but uh, it's pretty cool anyway. We get to see uh, Big Albie Einstein. Hello, Mr. Ownstone. Anyway, now we can go into the service room directly in front of us. Now, what this is going to do, uh, uh, what's going to be in here is a code right there. So 33212. That is basically for the service door where we can turn the power off. But... Because very silly me didn't progress the story by going to it, trying to go to Ada's apartment first, it's not actually open just yet, which is just pan or chocolate. So this would be the service door where you can go in and then use that code three three two one two. But as I said, um, I am stupid. I am stupid, as Charles Leclerc uh, from Ferrari would say. Even though the whole Ferrari strategy team are stupid, stupid. Um, no offense, but you know, we all know. If you're a Formula One fan, you know. All right, so what we're going to do then, uh, we're going to take a right past the electrical room. We basically have to head again towards the rail station. There we go, where obviously we've got the uh, one photo collectible. This time, as I said, if you didn't come here and do this earlier, we're going to take a left and we're going to go up these steps. Now we're going to take a right over these boxes, head to the end of the one path, and then that'll finally progress the story. So, that's my bad, homie. It's my bad. Archer Ada. Aha! Alpha Quarter. Now, I just need to find a way inside. Listen, buddy, like I said before, we will Rose? do what we can. Who are you talking to? Ada! Oh, thank God. Yeah, some guy named Aubrey was broadcasting on our frequency. Said he was stuck in the engine halls and mentioned something about 
exotic energy? I'd like some answers. Rose, I'd rather explain it in person. It's no, not what Now you... is a great time to tell me what the hell is going on here. Right, now we can finally crack on. So what we're going to do, we are going to head back to the um, upstairs in order to turn the electric off. So again, go past the gamma electricity room on the left, head up the steps, and then immediately on your left is going to be the service room. I know what you're thinking. What about the Thompson conjecture? Ada, well, Ada, that... Ada, 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 stop. It's me you're talking to. None of that nerd talk. Right. Uh, okay. A large experiment went boom. It ruptured a current of time and dangerous things have flooded through it. These things have been killing us. All of us. And remember, the key code then is 33212. So again, uh, left is 1, right is 3, middle is 2, and that's 33212. And then when that is done, everything will be good. And then we can nip it down to the electric quarter and go to find Eloisa. Floor, gamma quarter. Gamma? Mm. Then our entrance is covered in a web of live electricity cables. I can't get near it. Can you turn off the power source? The override code should be written in the Epsilon guest quarter. Easy peasy. All right. I'll get the override code and disable the generator. Easy peasy. Listen, I'm entering another shielded section, so I'll lose my broadcast ability again. But I'll try to hurry. A and T. I'll see Andrew Tate's even getting his name in these games now. Stupid Andrew Tate. Right, anyway, a couple of collectibles to grab. Not going back the way we came, sorry. Um, but if you just nip through all these planters, on the bar on the left right here is uh, the first collectible, just where the visions are on the chessboard. So pick that one up. Might be a bit difficult to see. Get out of the way! But it is a king. Now that is a class name. So, if anyone out there is called A King, oh man, you're pretty and cute. Uh, so, then we can continue. So, go backwards, uh, go back, turn around, and then go through this big metal door thing right here. Right at the very end, this is basically an unmissable collectible because we need to go through the door anyway. But if you have a look on the floor, it is Eloise's. Eloise Fairfield. It is her uh, apartment key card. So, that'll be another collectible done, and then we can go straight ahead of us. To get into a noise of Fairfield's apartment. So, uh, we're going to go straight left into the bathroom, left again, and we're going to find the double key card, which is Ada, 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 Ada Chameleons. Why Eliza's got Ada's spare key cards, we do not know, but uh, oh, there she is. Well, uh, <laughs> I guess rest in peace, bro. God damn. That's not a pretty sight. And Rose is just a journalist, so, you know, it's a bit... She could have taken pictures. This would have been a hell of a hell of a story. She could retire. So, go back the way we came then. So, we're going to go back through the A&T Andrew Tate table. Could be the apple titty table for short. Uh, anyway, once we are out here, we're going to head um, back to the right because, of course, we need to be going to Ada's apartment. So, obviously, when we get to the end here, back up the stairs, right over the boxes, and we will find Ada's apartment. to get myself a drink because there's a whole bunch of bars here right before going to the left head straight onto the table right here is another collectible i tell you what no wonder everyone got so smashed up they literally every room you go into there's a bar with a nice jack and coke on it so yeah to be fair i'd be doing more drinking than science in in all fairness that's what i do now anyway so technically i am a scientist anyway through the next 
hallways in the doorways. And we're going to head straight in front of us, which is going to be Miss Archer's, again, Ada Archer, no relation to Sterling Archer's apartment. Yeah, right, so there's going to be a, a bit of conversation, and there's going to be a new puzzle. It's kind of like a pairs puzzle of sorts, uh, where we have to pair something up. But I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I mean in just a bit anyway. So uh, what we can do is actually head into her bedroom. I thought we could just go straight for the painting, but we can't. Uh, we can have a look at the paper here on the bed, the certificate or diploma or whatever and then have a look at the painting or the picture on the desk once you've done that ada should start talking there she goes so again it's going to be a bit of a long conversation so you know have a look around chill out you have another drink while you're at it for example you said a future you wrote me the letter that brought me here what does that even mean my research is about exploiting so with the next um, puzzle coming up, what you need to do is find these clues. So on this triangle, there's going to be a symbol, and it's going to be the wind symbol. Now, it's going to be random for everyone in uh, uh, each playthrough. So whatever your symbol is here, it could be fire, water, wind, or the other one, mountain. Um, and then what we can do is you then have to match up whatever symbol was on the um the triangle, you've got to match that one up. So whatever, uh, I'll show you, it's obviously, it'll make more sense now, but when you, when it pops up on the left, you then have to match the symbol you found on that said thing to whatever it is on the left. Now, there's the triangle, there's a couple of things about here as well, um, if you do get stuck. So there's different, like, uh, symbol shapes. Um, you're going to see anyway, it's like a triangle to a full big circle thing. There we go. So, First of all then, obviously it's the triangle, so we know that the triangle is the wind. Now you can either look for the clues, or you can pretty much just write it down and deduct it as you go along. So we know the triangle is the wind, which will get one light dot going. Now it's going to be what kind of looks like a those old 90s footballs, uh, kind of diamondy. Um, so again, you can just... Could, because they're going to be random as well for you in each playthrough, it might just be easier if you want just to... Whichever one you find is the right combination, just write that down or remember it. Probably be easier to do that one. So for me, as I said there, there was water with the biggest diamondy looking thing. And because it's gone back to triangle, we know that one is wind. So yeah, I mean, that that's what I ended up doing for this one and for the next one. Literally just writing it down. I just can't be asked looking for clues. Sorry, I'm lazy. Anyway, we are now going to crawl through. It's going to take a minute or two. So, yeah, whichever way you decide to do that, that's fine. Like I said, the way I did it was just... Um, whichever one was the correct one, I just writ it down and then done it that way. Yeah. It's a wiener. So when we get out of here, then what you're going to do is look to the right and then you're going to see Ada's first notebook, which is also going to get us an achievement as well. And then we can basically climb back through the dirty, smelly vent that we just came through, covered with spiders and death snakes and death craps. A lot of death and a lot of stinky stuff. How's it going? Pretty good. Although I'm afraid I found an error in your fancy calculations. <laughs> that would be the day. What did you find? Well, you've got massless known vectors intersecting with relativistic spoon dimensions. None of what you just said makes any sense whatsoever. Makes just as much sense to me as this notebook. These equations will allow you to send the letter back in time? Yes, and since you received it, I've technically already done it. Or will do it, depending on how you look at it. Comforting to know that I'll at least live long enough to write it. But the research means so much more. It could do so much more for all of us. Promise me you'll protect it. Promise me. Fine, I promise. But now what? I've divided the research into two pieces. You only have half of it. I'm on my way to pick up the other half. I'm just gonna go through the bio labs now and we'll... What the? Damn it! Rose, I'm trapped! Rose, I'm trapped in the bio labs! Rose, Rose, can you hear me? Ada! Piece of 
shit receiver. Right, mate, let's skedaddle out of here. So we've got what we need. Now we need to find out what is blocking Ada's transmission. So the door's going to lock here, which is going to be fine. The door on the right is going to open. It's going to be open already. Again, this part is going to be a long set of conversations. So let's just go ahead and do our thing. First of all, in this open room next to this lamp by the bed is the next collectible. And then there's going to be one more collectible with that um, pairs puzzle that we've just done. So if we go back on ourselves, have a look at this pa paper on the right here. You can see it says, uh, peaceful sheep live happily eating grass. Wolves come to hurt the sheep. Sheepdog uh, is for the wolves and the man rewards the sheepdog. So what you need to do then is, as it says right there. So if you get a sheep symbol on the left, you'll know that it will be grass. Um, obviously, if you get the um, farmer, you know it'll be the sheepdog. If it's the wolves, it'll be, um, if it's the wolves, it'll be the sheep, and then whatever the bloody other one is. So, yeah, that's, that's how it goes. So if you want to, again, just do the same as I'm doing here, literally just writing it down, whichever one is the correct one, or if you want to, um, just keep going back and looking at the notes, then that's fine. Either way, this is where the last collectible is going to be. And again, don't worry, there's no rush, because this is a long conversation. Trapped, you too, just like me. <laughs> well then, some expert advice. Finding what clean corner that is tainted with the stench of death. That's step one. Not the kind of help I was hoping for. So you can get me out? Well, that depends. Where are you? The Alpha Quarter of the Faraday District. Some kind of lockdown gate came down. Can you open it? <laughs> About that. Can I count on you to come and help me out if I do this? My situation is uh, slightly more complicated. Aubrey, the door. Please. Pretty please. Go get your sister, I understand. Family first and all that. There we go, you should have got the loved one's achievement, that's for getting all the collectibles in chapter 3. Now we're just going to hide behind here, because Albrol's Mr. Strawberry will blow the door open for us. Bro's good at blowing, bros. You too. I promise. Scout's on. Oh shit, Aubrey! The gate nearly exploded! Sorry, so sorry. Bye, bye. Ah, that's what we like, mate. Right, let's get out again. We'll uh, pick up a cheeky Jack uh, Jack Daniel's honey with Coke on the way. <laughs> Thank you. And now we are going to be coming up to our first chase scene. Now, like I said, if you do end up dying... Now, of course, because I've done it the console command way... So, basically, uh, now what happened was, every time I came back into the game and went to continue, it wouldn't put me back to where an autosave was. It only put me back to the beginning of the chapter. So if you end up dying, or if you say now you do the, um, you completely quit the game in order to uh, sync the save up to the cloud. And then of course, remember if you want to delete your local save, you go to manage games and add-ons, choose the game, delete local save only. Um, again, I'm not sure when it would put you back, if it would put you back to the all the way into the beginning of the chapter. Um... So, yeah, I mean, hopefully it doesn't, but because that is just a pain. But there we go. So he's all good for now. He's not going to chase us just yet. What we're going to do is head to the left. And as we've just seen someone get gutted like a fish. And not a good fish either. That's a smelly fish. Anyway, knife wielding lunatic. Yeah, let's uh, let's go down the stairs. And uh, we're effectively now heading towards the rail station. Oh, shit. Shut up, Aubrey. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Man, get gutted by some nutcase with a knife. Oh no, that's a good thing. Get me out of here. Uh, okay, you get to the rail station entrance while I get everything figured out. Can you take me to the bio labs while you're at it? That's where my sister is trapped. If she can't come to me, I'll go to her. Just get to the rail station gates. <laughs> I'm in the gates. Get them open. Silently, this time. Yes, ma'am. Here we go. 
So this is where the chasing's gonna happen. You can look behind with the right trigger if you wanna know where you're going. Uh, or if you want to know where the perpetrator is, but we will continue to just sprint like hell. Don't stop for anyone. So obviously we're going to take a right here. Press X to jump over quickly. Go to the left. And again, this one isn't too bad. It's uh, quite a short chase, but over the bridge we go. We're going to take a left now. Continue onwards. I've got it. I got it. Uh, take a right, obviously, and th over the next bridge as well. Jump over this bit of debris. And continue on straight. Eh! I grabbed my pants! And then take a little right again. Take a left over the bridge. No, don't know. You don't know my name. Take a right and then get into the cart to uncrap your pants. You can't run from time, Rose. I'll have my revenge. You will pay for what you did. <laughs> you made it! Wow! What a sprint! I told you, Benny, she can run. Damn! Okay, now stuff's getting really strange right here. Oh, look, it's the works of Die Dallas. Now, this is basically the Welsh male version of Debbie Does Dallas. Come on, then, Die Dallas, let's do it. Come on now, boy. Hey, it's Aubrey. Right, I don't care, state. Aubrey. I just want to know where Die Dallas is, please, Bat. I'm worried. She should have radioed in by now. The lockdown is likely blocking her ability to transmit. She's probably fine. So. Is now a good time to ask how Ludwig knows your name? Maybe he mistook me for someone else. I'd rather not think about it. Still, he did know your name. So he must be somewhat aware of this. Uh, Aubrey, help! I'm on it! Sit tight! Still moving, Aubrey. Stop the car! I'm trying! I'm trying! Right, so for this bit then, what you're gonna do when the doors open, don't jump out straight away. Wait a second or two until you see the platform. There's the platform, so jump now. So obviously you don't wanna be jumping out straight away because that means a certain death. Rose, are you okay, Rose? Something, something about Aubrey's voice. Sometimes it's hilarious and then other times I wanna punch him in the throat. Sorry. Uh, no, it's not too bad. But anyway, onwards we go. We're gonna have to get through a lot of fiery bits. So for now, it is just a case of following a little path down the ladder and up the next ladder, etc. First. Bad news first, always. Okay, well, I thought I would be able to take you all the way to your sister in the Bible Labs, but then obviously. I mean. It's always the good news, and never tell me the bad news. That's the only news I want, so, yeah. Uh, again, nothing's going to happen here in terms of causing you any death pains. There's no one's going to chase us or spook up on us for a minute. Uh, but if we go straight down this next part, we're going to interact with a switch. <laughs> you get it. A light and the... Anyway, dust. Follow the tunnel until you reach the station up ahead. That sounds easy enough. I will go towards the light. Ha! <laughs> Great! I'm going to fix a few things here on my end. I'll check back in a bit. See, Benny, I told you, go towards the light. So when we get to the end, here we're going to take a left down the ladder, we are going to jump down the ladder. And again, don't worry about any collectibles just yet, because there is none. So, oh, the tech labs. 
Damn, this is one big ship. Jesus, on a plebis, man. Uh, so continue, obviously, down these steps for now. Lectors to help guide you towards the biolabs. Simply go with the flow. But bear in mind that I couldn't get them all, so watch your step. Okay. Anything else I should know about this place? Well, it's probably not going to be pretty. So you and then we can go left now into the elevator and get out of the smelliest of tech lab sewers. There's a poignant odor all of its own. Isn't that right, Benny? Yeah? He's like a tulip of death. That's kind of morbid. You sure you're okay, Aubrey? Okay, so Aubrey's losing his head. So this looks familiar, doesn't it? Somebody on the radio telling you where to go, telling you what to do, asking for your help. And, um, going a bit stir-crazy. Definitely doesn't sound very Bioshocky familiar at all, does it? No. So, let's follow the visions, get out of the way. Time experiment for the past to become visible in the present. And now we can finally start getting some collectibles. So, first of all, on the right here, when we enter this big old chunky room, is the first pneumatic tube, the old P-tube, as I like to call it. Uh, just because I can't be our same pneumatic, and for some reason it starts with a P, so there we go. Uh, there's also a couple of letters scattered around which doesn't, uh, which are not in tubes, uh, but they are not, so save uh, just like this one here on the desk, but they don't count towards the collectibles, so no panic if you missed that one. So from here, we're going to continue straight on. You can see the little blinking light on the door. And we're going to start hearing some monster noises, because why not? Why not crap your pants? Uh, head to the left, and again, I do apologize if it's going to be a little bit dark uh, here, there, and everywhere. Uh, but in this room right here is going to be the next collectible. It's going to be on a desk. There it is. A blueprint. The Death 3 blueprint. Well, they're not very good at guarding secrets, are they? It's just stuff scattered about everywhere. So once you've got that one, we can now head back out of this room. So the same way that we came in. Take a left. Oh my god, it's getting spookier and spookier. And yeah. uh, head through the next door anyway. And there's a bit of electrical nutbags going on in the left room. So we are going to take a left. And go into said room. Now again, this is another room where of course you can easily die. Because electric coursing through your veins. Not good, ya. Yeah. Sorry, Rose. It isn't responding to my commands. Great. So what do I do? Think the best idea you run. Just this time, the volume the poles of electricity at the same time. Isn't there a way to turn this thing off from in here, then? I was getting to that. On the bottom floor, there are emergency... Right, so to shut this down, then we need to find two levers. So again, just be careful for a minute. What we're going to do then is just wait until the next electrical current goes nuts. There it is. And as soon as it shuts off, just run past it and go to the left. There we go, so we can sprint past, go to the left. This is the first lever. Now what we're going to do is wait for a second, and then we're just going to leg it to, uh, to the other side. So wait until this next electrical current goes, and then just run straight to the other side. Stick into the right as much as you can, but run straight. There we go, and this is what will shut it down. Yeah, boy. Oh man, I've seen my nan climb quicker up ladders. Jeebus. Right, anyway, once we're at the top here, we can now go through this next door. So that's another uh, electrical part done. Thank God. We head to the right. Again, don't worry about the monster noises. They're just there to um, poop you up for now. Uh, so continue to the right. So we're going to nip through to the right-hand side room now. And then just to the left, back to the left corner of this room, is the next blueprint. Right next to this lovely little corpse with the x-ray machine. 
Yeah, nice. So that's the next one done anyway. So turn around. We're going to go straight through this next door. Here are we go. And scientist, he's just going to sort of... Yeah, nothing's going to happen. So we'll just go straight through. This time we're going to take a left. And we are going to interact with the lever right here as well. Rose! And interact with the next one too, just because. And then we can nip on through the next door. So when we get into this room, what we'll do is take a right. There is nothing else in this room. So we can literally just take a right and go through to the next door. You're supposed to find a code for this next room, but of course I'm going to tell you what it is right now. And it is three, two, one, two, two. Three, two, one, two, two. And off we go. So we've got another collectible coming up then. Uh, so let's just get past the couple of items here. And then what we're going to do is take a left into this room. Ah, oh, Jesus. Some of the noises in here are bloody annoying, mate. And then directly in front of us then is going to be one uh, Healy, um, P tube, unsent tube message again. Don't think that one really counts, uh, but just grab that one anyway. When we come out, go straight into the next room, which is now 323. Three. I mean, it's always been 323, two, three, but this is the room we're going in. And then we can, if we go straight ahead of us, just to the left where that broken door is, there is the next blueprint piece. The earthquake machine. Now that would cause a lot of headaches and a lot of earthquakes. And if you go forward a bit, two scientists run just to give you another cheeky little jump scare. Which is always nice. Thanks! Right, head to the right anyway, past this exoskeleton stuff. This is going not yet going to be another chase scene. Um, but we're going to go into this next door to the left of us here. And on the left on the table is the next blueprint. The lightning energy. Damn, dog. Uh, so that is the next one complete. Then we can just go straight forward and out of the door into the next room. So yeah, that blue stuff is uh, basically called exotic energy. So exo energy where monsters appear. This is going to be the chase scene right after we've seen some scientists get smashed in the back. And not in a good way like a pasty. Uh. So it turns out it is something. Right, make a break for it then. We're going to go left. Obviously go right. Then we're going to take, uh, well, go straight through apparently. And then don't look back. Again, press right trigger if you want to look where he is. But go to the right now. Go to the left. And then just continue on round. Straight through the door. And straight through the next door. Straight through the next door, and this is the safe area. So there we go. You make a dent, but you ain't getting in. So, yeah. Those exotic monsters really pack a punch, don't they? As in, uh, pack a punch in your pants. Jesus. Anyway, grab the next collectible here, which uh, is just after we have finished breathing slightly. So there's the next blueprint, and then we're going to go straight across to the uh, uh, the exit door, but we can't get out uh, just for a second or two. Nice. But how did you know? How did you know to close the door? Well, they aren't exactly subtle. Wherever exotic energy goes, they follow. Not that hard to track if you know what you're doing. <laughs> That's three times I owe you. Thanks, Aubrey. So, do you know where the violence your sister is trapped? Yeah. She's in a surgery room. Am I close? Yes, you are! Yes, you are! Woo! Right, so now we have calmed down. We can go out, go to the next room here on the left. We are going to find a, another collectible. Just on the left-hand side, next to this... Another dead body. There's plenty of them about. Now we have the artificial photosynthesis ting. So pick that one up. Job done. Now we can get out of the room. We're going to take a left and continue on down to the left. Past this first door. Past the little hallway here on the left, and it is going to be the next door on the left where we're going to go. 
So skedaddle your way straight in the Sklulala. Whatever the hell a Sklulala is. And here's the chalkboard right next to someone who died quite comfortably, I would say. Kind of looks like... Uh, uh, maybe Leon from uh, Resident Evil? No? Oh no, you can't really tell, but anyway. They, they look, uh, yeah... They're looking quite comfy as a dead person. So anyway, there it is. The next blueprint there just on the floor. There is an unsent tube message just there as well. But again, don't think it's um, uh, for the collectibles. So we'll take a right now when we get out of the room. Take another right down this hallway. And then take another right. And then we're going to take a little left. Left up the steps. And the last collectible is going to be straight in front of us, which is going to be on one of the seats here on the right-hand side. So there it is. Make sure to pick this one up. Very easily missable, this one. So once that is done and you've collected everything else, Blueprint Collector will be unlocked. Hear the rare sounds and bah, enjoy them. Anyway, up the steps we go. Yes! We found Ada! We're about to find her! And then nothing bad happens and uh, we can just go home. There we go. Game's end. Rose! Oh my god! My big sister is here! My big sister is here! Yes. <laughs> she is. And we, dear sister, are getting out of here. Come on. How do I get to you? There's a door on your right. Short corridor, stairwell. You can't miss it. I will be right down. Uh, Ada? Uh, I didn't do anything. Ada! Get out! Get out now! I... I, I can't. Rose? I... I can't! Rose, listen to me. It's okay. Really, it's okay. You're here for me. I will love you forever for that. But I need you to do one thing. Get my research, Rose. Save it. Go to the theater and get the second notebook. Together they hold the keys to everything. You can fix this. <laughs> Promise me, Rose. Promise me. Not like this. <laughs> Promise me, Rose. Whoops, did I say nothing bad will happen and it's the game's end? <laughs> no, of course, that was always going to happen. If you don't find her at the end of the game, if you find someone you're looking for in the middle of a game, you know certain death is happening. So, yes, that's unfortunate. But I'm not being funny, if these exotic monsters could just appear out of thin air, then why wouldn't they just go where everyone is and kill them all? Anyway, in the next few chapters, all will be revealed if you haven't figured out what's going to happen. Which, if it's anything like Bioshock, you probably know. But she's gone. I know, I know. But you made a promise, Rose. Scouts honor and everything. If you don't leave now, they will get you too. Promise. Come on, get up and get out. The left side door! Go! Ah, uh, fine. Oh, I guess we'll go, even though i just seen my sister get... get a third hole straight in her belly button. And, uh, you know, latch towards the window. Yeah, but let's come and rescue you, doucheberg. Anyway. So take a left, and then what we're going to do is a big metal door in front of us, but we're going to take the right-hand side door first. Collectibles galore. I mean, well, not galore, but there's a collectible in here. So, go straight, and on this desk here is the first of the collectibles. It is a little department memo. 
Ada Archer, lead researcher. Now, if you've been reading it, it's all it's very, very interesting, all this stuff. But uh, if not, then you know, don't worry about it. Anyway, shut off the electricity first of all with the one lever and then make sure to interact with the second lever here to open up the big white metal door. So when we get out, we're going to take a right. Again, slightly dark, apologies, but we're going to take a right. Okay, I think I've got a solution. Yeah, 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 my mum's got a solution too. Yeah, I'm here. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Anyway, once we get up to the top of the steps, right on this, um, uh, right next to this pneumatic valve tube is another collectible. So we'll pick that one up, job done. Now we're, next we're going to turn around. And we're going to go through the next door here. A lot of doors in this place. Too many doors. Uh, straight in front of us, anyway, is the next collectible. It also has the uh, a code on it. One, one, uh, two, two, three. So we'll need that one anyway. So that's missable, but yeah, it still is actually missable, isn't it? Anyway, out of the right. Then we're going to go towards the right again. Yep, we're going to have to go through the fire while Aubrey sits on his sweet strawberry. Hey. So up we go, and uh, this is where we're going to put the code in. So remember, it is one one two two three. See if I can contain it. I'll talk to you on the other side. <sighs> okay. Any last minute advice? Don't burn up. And then simply and lovingly hit the switch here on the left. After you put that one in, and that'll get some stuff going if we turn around. Hello. Into a big old electricity room again, but this time we're not going through it. So we go to the right. If you just keep walking straight towards it, you will start um, going over it, over the debris here, over the ledge edge. And somehow, even though people are probably trained in this, it's up to a journalist to try not to die through everything. So, take a right anyway. Obviously, try not to go in the fire. That means obvious death. Wait until the flame in front of us dies down for a second. As soon as it stops, of course, we're going to run through. And then take a left through this little doorway, hallway. And next, we're going to take a right. Go left. Uh, cough apparently and then we're going to continue basically going right so just continue on right and right again and then it's effectively uh, pretty much straight now from this point So the final collectibles are going to be coming up as soon as we get past the old explosive barrel drum bum right here. Aubrey, stop being a strawberry. Uh, so here's the last collectible and on the table once we get past explosive barrel death and the achievement should unlock right. There it is, job done. Ada's department memos, that should unlock as long as you've got all the collectibles. And then we can just continue uh, going straight ahead of us really, so straight through the door. A um, bit of conversation is going to happen here, and then we'll just go through this elevator to end the old Ella chapter. Ah. I've a handful of times already. I think I've learned to know what this is about. You're right, Aubrey. I'm sorry. I'm looking for a notebook that my sister hid somewhere in the theater. It contained her new research, and I promised her I'd guard it. The entire ship recognized her brilliance. Nikolai included. And now she's gone. The elevator is here, Rose. Whenever you're ready.
Welcome to chapter five, six. Oh god d damn, I missed a chapter. Anyway, chapter six, the drama of dialysis. Any idea where this notebook might be hidden? It's a fairly large theater, you know. Afraid not. But how big can it be, really? So, yes, tis a large theater, but I know where we're going, mate. So, first of all, as soon as we begin, take a left. And we're just going to follow this around past the rail station gates. And at the end is going to be a pea tube letter to grab. Sure. This might take a while. So once you've got your pea tube out, we can effectively now just go uh, continue on straightwards. So take a little left and head up the gloriousness of these theater steps. I am terribly sorry. The Tower of Grace demanded my attention far longer than I can I hope I haven't kept you. So what we're going to do now is go down these next couple of steps, take a right in order to grab the next collectible. It'll be on one of the seats. There it is. So pick that one up then and you will get the three opera singers. Now, imagine being so handsome that you, the other, whoever that was, scribbled out the other two guys. Or imagine being the other two guys where you feel not as handsome. Damn it! Anyway, now we can continue onwards. So basically the other side of where the collectible was. We're going to go up some marble steps to find another collectible. What? I don't... I don't know what to say, sir. Oh, it is the least I can do. And please, call me Nicole. Thank you. So when we get to the top of the steps, take another right. And just on the table there is going to be... Palava. Or P Pervel. Ah, Perv. Ludovica Perv. Yes, I get the Ludovica Perv. Oh, well, well, I, pff, whatever I'm on about. Anyway, that's the next one. Then we'll continue heading down the corridor. We're going to have to um, ledge edge our way through this bit. From there, it was merely a matter of building it. But enough about me. What about you, Ada? What about your family? You have a sister, if I'm not mistaken. So when we get into this room here, there's nothing in here except more drinks and a ledge, which we need to be careful on. So you can actually fall on this, uh, off this beam, so just be very careful. Is she any good? The best. Easy. Easy now. Oh my god, thank god for that! Anyway, continue out of this door. We're gonna grab a, another collectible. So, you can see a Frankenstein poster and a... Moby what?! Give me that book! It's trash! Filth! I'm fed up with all this reading! Anyway, there is the next... It's a uh, Carlos Sainz flyer on the floor. Uh, yeah, so that's the next collectible. And of course, that was a Matilda quote, if you remember Matilda. The 1996 classic. It's called Moby Dick by Herman Merville. Moby what? Anyway, once we get into uh, back into Ada's room, there's going to be visions of them um, talking and stuff. But all we need to do is wait by the radio in order to get the key card to go to the elevator. Because when we do, we will have changed the world forever. To changing the world. To changing the world. Come on. There's, there's, there's a secret room in my room. You find it while I make my way through another laboratory department. I'll give you a clue. It's center stage. That's it. Center stage. Holy shit. Ada! I, I still don't get these visions of Ada. Or how the radio played our conversation from the past. But it's like she's still here, leading me onwards. Oh, 
Ta-da! This is that. That's what my opera singer voice would be like. Go compare. Right, take a left down towards where all the stage is, and the next collectible is going to be right in front of you. Uh, guys, big butt is sitting on it, so uh, we'll just get the great uh, Fabrica, the Fabrica of Life. That's another flyer collectible done. So then we'll continue past all this bit. This guy died incredibly unluckily. That is a oh, straight through the side. That is a death and a half, isn't it? Uh, there's going to be another Ludwig chase scene coming up as well. Um, so what we're going to do is just go around all the things here. We're going to take a look down this trap door. We're going to get the second achievement for finding Ava's second notebook. Ada's second notebook. And then the Ludwig chase Vil Vivin. I mean, why Ludwig just literally said our name? He could have literally just stabbed us in the head and be done with it. But anyway, on we go, Woods. So, take a right. Do you remember what you said? No, take a right. Take a left. Left. Take a right. Down the steps here. Over the boxes. Press the X button to take a, uh, over the boxes. And then we are safe for five minutes. Right, what we need to do is go to the... Door on the right that says slow by it for the last collectible of the level. So make sure to go through the door that says slow. We're going to take a left past the old bloody mannequin. Thank God they're not like the mannequins from Condemned where they follow you and crap you up and stuff. And here it is on the left on the barrel is the and that's going to be the famous autographs achievement done. So that's all the collectibles done for this one. We now have one more chase scene, and it was actually in this chase scene where, even though I um, went past him twice, even though I'd done the same thing three times, um, he still caught me twice out of three times for some reason. Now, that is unfortunate. But if you need some protein juice there from the blood, get your tongue on that. Blech. Right, so we'll take a right from the next ball. Get underneath. Now, you'll know when the chase scene is going to start because we're going to be walking to, uh, running towards a wall that's, that has the end on it. So, nip through the mannequins. You can hear his voice, but again, he's not going to chase us just yet. Um, we need to squeeze through this little bit on the right. Lots of stuff going on. Sorry, it can be slightly confusing, uh, this little area, but once we jump over the box, we're going to see the wall with the end on it, and then the chase scene is going to begin. So what we'll do is take a right. So we're going to take a right immediately, go straight through, try and stay in the middle as much as you can. Now we're obviously going to take a right, and then a left. Again, stay in the middle if you can here. Take a right, and stay on the right-hand side of the wall. And this is the end of the second chase scene. So, yeah, for some reason, like I said, he caught me twice. Even though I'd done the same thing three times, he still managed to catch me twice. Which was a pain, especially if I was going for the no dying achievement. Legitimately. Meh, meh. Anyway, off he goes to a Bernie hell. And uh, you can either just watch him or we can just crack on. We'll crack on. So jump down to the right and then head down the uh, death parts. Rose, is that you? You sound terrible. Thank you, Doucheberg. Aubrey, where the hell have you been? I could have used you like five minutes ago. You found the notebook, didn't you? I bet you did! Right. So here we'll take the right... right. No, yes. Not not oh, Aubrey's right, but the, the right here to go through the next door. We go into an electric room. We're going to take then a door on the left. 
Um, so Ludwig took a first full of fire. That's nice. Uh, so now we're into this room. We're going to interact here with the lever. Pop that one going. I'm lost. And then through the next door. Again, this is another sort of uh, weirdly confusing area. That door's not going to go through, sorry. Um, so with that switch done, we can actually head back out. That's actually turned the electric off. And then we can now go through to the next room in the next area. Again, a lot of dark here, so I do apologize. Anything yet? No, nothing. Wait! Now! Aubrey! Now! Oh, that's deck 66. Next order of business, getting you that elevator. Fantastic, Aubrey. Thank you again for everything. I'm coming to make good of my promise. You have no idea how good that sounds. Uh, wait, let me get the doors. Oh, god damn it. And of course there's somebody who's crucified like Jeebus. Ugh, God damn. Imagine the, the smell of that. Crucified against it's, like the an, elevator wall. it's like an unwashed a bit of genitalia after two weeks. <laughs> it's, it's the only one. It's the only one, Rose. I hate this place. I hate this place so much. <sighs> one leaf in. One thorn out. Thanks for doing this, Rose. Yeah. Welcome to the Strife of Eris. So, of course, more collectibles and more fun stuffs. In fact, the chapters from uh, now to chapter 10, they're literally quite short. Less than 10 minutes each now. Sorry! That's okay, Aubrey. <sighs> Glad to hear it, because I'm afraid you've got a bit of work to do before you can get to my end of the engine halls. But of course I do. So once we get down, we are going to head to the right, just uh, past the stairs there on the right, and we're going to nip in. There we go. More dead bodies, which is always lovely. Head up the steps. Hey, Rose. I got to sort this out. I'll be back in the jiffy. Just don't... Don't what? Right, so this first collectible can actually be missed. Um, it's not sort of on the way of anything. I think you can either take a left or a right. So what we're actually going to do is take a left here when we get to the end. We are then going to pull the lever here in order to extend the bridge. And the first collectible of the level is going to be on the left. It's going to be uh, just a letter which is just uh, strung up. So take a left here and there it is. And again, I actually missed this the first way through because the easiest way to go uh, in order to get progress the level is the right hand side or at least I found it the easiest um, so you can actually miss it if you just go to the right hand side but that's the first one anyway now we're gonna head over to the right So take a left, but stay there for a minute. It's going to get quite shocking. There it is. The shocking of la la la. Once the shocks stop, of course, we're going to sprint straight through. Come on. All right, there we go. Make a break for it now. Job done. Take a left, and then we're going to go over the bridge here. And we are going to go down the next ladder. Going? I thought you had that area covered. Uh, there's a bit of a hiccup with this, uh, with a large electromagnetic distribution coil. It seems to be pulsating. Uh, yeah, that means nothing to me, Aubrey. Speak plainly. Uh, Rosie, we are harvesting electricity from time itself. 
This shit is complicated, okay? Now for this next bit, if you take a look down, you can actually jump down, but make sure to jump down off the platform. Because uh, as you can see, I died simply by walking off it because there is a little gap there. So if you jump down to this plat jump down to that platform, you can see these steps. Again, quite dark, so sorry about that. And then we're gonna head up here to find some more visions, and then we're gonna go through this door. Now, this is a sort of a timed bit. It doesn't turn the electric off, but uh, it does get a bridge going for us. So go through this next door. What we need to do then, we're gonna wait for a second until the power goes off, and as soon as the power comes back on, we are going to pull this lever and then sprint to the left to go back out the door. So, pick it up, there we go. Now sprint to the left, straight to the other side of the room are two levers, so make sure to hit these two levers in time. There we go, as long as you've done it in time with the power staying on, that will sort us out a little cart. So now we can head out and then head up the ladder. And then when we get up here, take a left and we'll go down this next ladder. And then once we turn around, you can see another shocking bit of box happening. Again, we're gonna wait for just a second. And then as soon as, the, as, soon as it's off, jump straight for over the box. For the second it goes off, make a break for it, jump straight over, and then you should have enough time in order to net not get shocked. Rose, you are there? You are there? Yeah. Yes, thank you, Strawberry. Right, here. so once you get to this part then, we are going to open the door. We're going to take a right, because there's going to be a pneumatic tube, another pea tube, collectible to grab. So take a right, and then you can see all the tubes. There it is, P-tube number one for the level. P-tube number seven overall, must be. Right, so once you grab that, take a right, go back towards the uh, where we came in, next to the blue electrical shocky door. And then just continue nipping this way. Take a right here, hugging the sort of right-hand side wall. And then there is the next collectible, right next to a pressure valve. Spectacularly failed. Man, you've got to be terrible at your job to be spectacularly failed. Right, so it's our job now to basically turn off all the pressure valves. And they are easily located, so turn directly around, th turn 360 from where we were, head up to the other end, and this is the first one. You only need to press it once so that the valve, or the, the point of the valve, is pointing downwards. Head to the left and up these little steps. This is where the second one is going to be. So again, remember that the um, knob or the dial or whatever you want to call it is pointing at the bottom, like so. Ah, did Benny. Right, head back down off the ladder and where we found the collectible, that one should already be down, but uh, just as a good bit of measure there, I turned it up and turned it down just to be on the safe side, even though it was already on the safe side. So that's the three in this area done. Now we can go through to the next room. Uh, immediately left, there's the next one, pop that one down. And then we're going to grab the valve wheel off the table as well. Pop that one, there we go, nicely done. Straight through into the next room we go. We go, we go, it's off the valve we go. Put the valve wheel on and spin it down, hi-ho. Hi smo, 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 smo. Right, now we can go up the tiny little ladder. Oh, Barry, you look like a strawberry. Here's the next valve. We're going to pop this one down again. And uh, that's not one, so don't worry. Now we'll just drop down off this next ladder. And there's going to be another valve wheel on the floor that we're going to pick up. Otherwise, it's going to be a little bit tricky without that valve wheel. Anyway, put it straight on the machine straight in front of us. Pop that one down and that should be all pressure wheels, uh, all, all the pressure is done and dusted. So uh, the door to the left of just the, where the last pressure bit was, we're going to go straight through and then go continue on for the run. One more hurdle. What's up next? Well, I'm told that malfunction in supersized electromagnetic distribution oil. It's... You know, 
know what? Some things just need to be seen. Come on through. Supersized electromagnetic distribution coil. Ugh. So when we get into this room then, with the big electronical Tesla tower chilling over there, um, yes, as in every game with science, they always have these boys which can rip to shreds in no time at all. Anyway, turn around, and on the uh, desk here with the lever next to it is the next collectible. This is extraordinarily failed. Jeebus on the behemoths. You've got to be, you've got to be basically, you know, in a coma to be extraordinary failing stuff. Anyway, we're just going to wait until Aubrey finishes. He is just over the other side of the building. You'll find the emergency deactivation switch. Wait, all the way over there? At the other end? Yep. You want me to sprint there while Electromag something or other regularly fries the entire place? Yep. <sighs> I've been thinking about this part. If it's all right with you, I'll open the door on the left and just hide in a corner for a while, okay? Of course. I, I wouldn't want you screaming in my ear anyway. So this is always a fun part, isn't it? So what we're going to do, we're going to go slightly forward. As soon as you hear the noise of the transmitter or whatever the hell it is, as soon as you hear the noise, get back inside of the building. And of course, it's going to be one of those where we're going to have to hide behind stuff. So as soon as the flash goes past, make a break for it. Don't worry about the blue stuff on the floor. We're going to make a straight break for it. As soon as we get to the first bit of cover here, we are, of course, going to hide. So just keep running, even though you hear the noise, just keep running and you should make it to this part here. And again, once you see the flash of blue, go past, go straight forward, and we're going to take a left. So take a left now, and then just hide underneath this part. Oh, it's not hiding, we're going to hide in the next bit. Again, as soon as the flash of blue goes, bam, make a break for it. And again, we're going to go to the left, because it's going to be another quick one. But you do need to hide underneath. Now, I think this is timed in order by when you run. So I thought, oh, I'll wait here for a little bit until the next one goes. But it doesn't. I think it only pulsates when you start running um, to the next one. So I think it's timed in that particular way. Now, this one is quite tight with timing. In fact, as you're going to see, I just about make this one. But we're going to make a break to the left. And then we're going to go to the left again, and then we need to go to the right. So we need to go to the right, and then quickly jump over the boxes. And I just, I just made that one. Uh, oof, yeah. So continue on straight once you've regained your composure. And then just hide underneath this next piece of debris. You can walk forward. Um, you can crawl forward a little bit uh, to give yourself a little bit more time. But it doesn't matter. Uh, take a right. We're going to jump straight off the ladder. Oh, in fact, not off the ladder. We're just going to hide behind this pillar. So once we've hidden behind this pillar and the blue uh, transmitter, emitter, whatever goes past, the blue pulse, straight up the ladder. And again, you think, <laughs> you think with the possibility of being ripped to shreds by a big electrical pulse, you go a bit faster. But anyway, interact with the lever, jump straight down the ladder. So jump straight back down and hide behind that same pillar in front of us. Yeah. And then when that's done, take a break to the right to go over this metal walkway and stay behind this next pillar. And then when that one's done, we can now continue to just keep on going forward. You should have time there to get into the next building, to turn the lever off, and that is job done. So congratulations on not being shredded to death like pulled pork. How should I know? Ah, thank God for that. Right. So what we do now is um, not go that way, the broken way, but we'll basically just go straight the way we came. So we're basically looking for the ladder where we interacted with the switch. 
So, Aubrey, Aubrey, how about we finally get off this godforsaken thing? Hotter day too soon. Take the metal walkways on your left. They should lead you up here to the control center. I know I've said thank you already, but it will be nice to finally be able to do it in person. On my way, Aubrey. Sweet. Aubrey knows of a shortcut off this thing. Ooh, I don't fancy going back the way I came. Okay, so this is where the final collectible is. Again, that was just a, a, an easy sort of walkway there. Head all the way down to the end and we'll take a little right Where and then you, on the floor Let's go. is going to be the final collectible. Uh, what kind of failure is this? Oh, it's just a normal failure this time. No failure. Right, so the way to go is actually if you turn directly around from that collectible, there's a little pathway and a, a set of ladders going up. That's what I completely missed. So my bad, my bad, apologies. Uh, but that is the way we go in. You're literally then just climbing up a bunch of stairs, a bunch of ladders, until we get to the end room. And then on, chapter seven's going Let's to get really intense. Hello, Rosie. <laughs> I tried to tell you. I really did. I'm a liar, Rose. I've heard everything, every word since you came aboard. From your first conversation with Ada to the last words she ever spoke. I even listened in on your conversation with Aubrey. Nicola. What? It wasn't Tesla's lockdown that was jamming your sister's broadcast. That was another lie. It was me! Why? Because he took everything from me! Everything! I had his attention! I had his respect! But she took it all! Welly, welly, well. Who could have seen this come in? Bioshock had a random guy that uh, talked to you nicely and asked you to do nice things. And then he betrayed you in the end, as does this. Which, hey, <laughs> the comparisons are awesome, because I like both games very, very much. Anyway, so obviously, Aubrey, you probably guessed it from the beginning, but he is the bad guy. Um, and, yeah, so basically he done it because Nikola Tesla stopped licking his nipples and started talking to Ada instead. So he was a bit jealous, so instead of just talking to Tesla and being like, Look, brah, you know, sort me out, brah, come on, brah. He decided to go on a murderous rampage, kill Ada, and try and kill me as well. Right. The many abilities of a psychotic pathman. Psychotic pathman? Psychotic madman is what I meant to say. Right, so you do sort of get chased, even though you're hobbling on one leg. So he hit you in the head, but you're hobbling on one leg. It's whatever, unless he hit you in the uh, back of the leg or whatever. So just, uh, you know... Continue your way forward So we're gonna open up the door again. Sometimes the the camera is, is a bit weird and the controls can be a bit janky uh, Which I've noticed but anyway head to the left and then you just head straight through this bit of exo blue cloud through the next door Take a right and it's the end of the chapter Okay. 
They're gone. It's going to be okay. Ada once warned me about the stubbornness of her sister. As always, I should have listened. I did not foresee you being able to journey halfway across the Helios even despite my own efforts to prevent it. And because of that failure... M my failure... Ada is lost to us. Aubrey opened doors that has allowed the contamination to spread. He is currently on his way to the tower, where he will attempt to use your sister's research to close the rift. But I fear that he will be unable to grasp the immensity of Ada's work, and thus make a bad situation much worse. I am therefore on my way to do what I can to fix this, and in the process, reclaim Ada's research. I would tell you to stay where you are, in a relative safety and rest, but I am fairly sure that won't happen. Damn right. We may be too late to save Ada's life, but we are not too late to save her legacy. I will be in touch. Okay, so welcome to chapter eight. We're just gonna see if she's okay. How are you, honey? Okay. All right, she's not looking good. Okay, she's probably dead. Very, very, very dead. So anyway, out of this uh, first surgery room. Sorry, I thought I'd just check, you know. Uh, take a left, and then we're going to go into this next surgery room where there is the first collectible of the chapter here. So um, make it like we go into the exit, but take a left before you go through the exit door. And this is where the first one is, the lungs augmentation. Would definitely um, help everyone's lungs, wouldn't it? People have chain smoke like an absolute chain broke. Right, uh, we're going to take a left when we get out of here. Out of the surgery room, the second surgery room, up the steps, and then we are going to take a little left eventually. So to get past this bit, you actually just have to watch the vision of your sister being moided. She's gone. Together they will you to everything. You can fix this. Promise me, Rose. Promise me. There we are, darling. So, another two collectibles coming up here. Just go past yourself. So get inside yourself and then get back out. Past this big green goop thing on the right and then turn around the corner before heading up the steps. Have a look next to this uh, console. And it is the Fertilizer. Um, uh, collectible. Fertilizer collectible. So then we can head up the steps and it's going to be another pea tube that we're going to take a little look at. Just on the right, right in the middle, there it is. So grab this next P-tube. Internal tube system. Now, don't tell anyone that because there's some people who like sticking gerbils in an internal tube system. Yes. Um, right, so we're going to follow the visions to the right. And we're just going to effectively keep going straight, watching the cutscenes and then keep going straight up another set of steps. Just not in the way I'd imagined. Not yet, anyway. I want to explain everything now, so that you see that there is nothing to fear. You always tried to protect me, my big sister, but this was meant to be. I know a little of this will make any sense right now, but I also know that you will keep your promise. I love you. Your sister, A. I'll be back for you. It's going to work, Ada. I promise. You're right, Ada. None of this makes any sense right now. 
Do you remember us carrying Ada to the uh, Garden of Death? No, me neither. Anyway, into this greenhousey bit, we're going to head to the left. And right on this collectible, uh, right in this pot here is another collectible, the mechanical implants for muscles. Now that would be good if you could just switch up your map. You could go bodybuilder mode or powerlifter mode or strongman mode. That'd be good. Uh, right, so we're going to head towards this big projector thing in the middle. Just nip, uh, nip it past this, take a right, and we're going to head up some steps. So remember we just grabbed the one collectible. When we get here, take a left. And then right at the end is going to be the next collectible here. There we go. Brainwave's improvements. Tidy and spidey. Right, so what we need to do is be quite quick with this one. We're going to interact with the lever here on the door. And then as soon as you pull it, immediately run to the right. To the right again, back over the bridge. Take another right and then interact with the lever here in order to open the big metal doors. So the lever's ju just going to be right here. That's job done. Inwards we go. Uh, that's just a survivor note. That's not a collectible. But there's going to be another collectible in this room. We'll take a right. And then we're going to take a left. In fact, it's going to be the final collectible of this chapter. But halfway down here, you can see the hallway goes off to the left. Right at the end of it. Let's pick, pick, pick it up. And that's going to be the final collectible of the level. Basically turning you into a cow. Tidy. Right then, so what's going to happen is now we're going to have a very short chase with um, an Exo Bro. Um, now, for some reason, every time I tried to go to the left door, he kept catching me. So, what I would highly do to recommend to save some time, if you look at the lever here, turn around so that the lever's on the right, so you don't waste time turning around like I did. We're going to make a break for it, go left and then left down the stairs again. So down the steps and then make tight turns here, make another tight turn, interact with the lever at the end and go through the right door. So make sure to go straight through the right door because for some reason, every time that um, I was going through the left door, he was catching me straight away. So uh, I did die a couple of times there. But yeah, like I said, so if you need um, a, a couple more seconds there, like I said, have a look so the lever's on your right so you don't waste time turning around and try and take the turns as tight as you can. Otherwise, all we're doing now is following the visions, interacting with the lever, getting on the cart, and it's the end of chapter eight. <laughs> Welcome to chapter 9, The Path of Ours. <laughs> um, right, so, things of course are starting to kick off quite incredibly incredulously so. So again, it's just a little bit of following the path, following the visions for the time being. He's just making it worse. Exotic energy is leaking everywhere. We need to get up there before it's too late. Go through the base entrance towards the tower. Continue up until you find a large equipment elevator. 
Use it to the top of the tower and stop Aubrey! As good a plan as any, I guess. Then what? Then you keep Aubrey in... That must be the Tesla Tower. Right, so first collectibles coming up here once again. So before going through the door, take a left and a left again. And then right at the very end here on the box is another uh, Tesla generator blueprint. So pick that one up then. That's going to be the first collectible of chapter nine, the path of ours. <laughs> uh, so straight through and straight through to the door. And we're going to do this one again. Again, so, ooh, we got, like, midget fallout Brotherhood of Steel armor right there. Nice, nice. Right, that's annoying. So, basically, what Aubrey's doing is just shutting some doors. For some reason, he doesn't shut them all, but he tries to shut some doors, which obviously has gone well. Uh, take a left. And then he's going to shut this door, so then what we need to do, once he does shut the door, turn around, take a right into this little window bit. Um... Go to the right, interact with the lever, and then that'll open up the door. Go away. Very busy. Aubrey! Sounds like you need some help with the equations up there. Rose? You're still alive? Hey! Our know. second collectible's coming up as well, so as soon as we open this door with the dead scientist there, just lying on the floor before heading left, take a look at this seat, or the bench or whatever, and there is the next blueprint. So once you've grabbed that, then we can head up the steps to the left and then continue onwards to the left. And again, we're going to have to go left and crawl through a dirty, disgusting, beautifully bathed vent. So after going up the sort of only path that we can, uh, this door here is going to lock for us as well because <laughs> that's nice. So then we'll take a right here and just nip down the ladder. There is going to be another collectible as well, so just chill out before you move on. But as soon as you get to the bottom, take a look to the left and it's going to be on a table. And now to grab the next one. So we're going to again follow the, the only path that we can go. So it's just through this green door here. Or this regular door. Uh, take a left of course. Take a right through this door. And the next blueprint collectible is going to be right here on this table. The Tesla Tower blueprint again. So that'll be the next one done. Right. Going to be a bit of a chase scene coming up in just a minute. As in now. So we're going to take a right. And then we are going to take a right again. From here, take a left and right through the next door, and then up the steps. And there we go, that's nice and safe, so we're all good now. So, uh, right, once you've done that one, before heading through the door, make sure to grab these next two collectibles here, the next blueprint one. And right next to this blueprint is the next pea tube. So, get out your pea tube, let's take a look at it. And there we go, job done. And now we can head through the door. And on the left is going to be the final collectible of the chapter, so you should now unlock the achievement, the Ambitious Plans. Ambitious Plans. Oh, the English language is a hilarious, confusing one, isn't it? Uh, so, we just got to wait for Aubrey to finish a minute. Oh, in fact, no, we don't. We can just go straight through. Uh, so, what we're going to do now is turn these uh, to green. So, interact with the second switch, and then interact with the fourth switch, 
and that should put all the lights green. That will open up the elevator on the outside, and then we just got to wait until they stop yam yam yammering on. And it's the last chapter to go, boys and girls. Pathetic. I'll get rid of you the same way I got rid of Benny if I have to. You can take your empty threats. Oh, sir, so glad you are here. I think there must be something wrong with uh, Nicola, sir. Aubrey. Chapter 10 then, roughly about 10 minutes left of the game. So immediately take a left when we first start, interact with the first collectible here on the table, and then go, continue going on straight past this old squeezy box of squeezy ju uh, juiciness. Now, just like with the last set of lights, we had to turn green, we now have to turn these ones red. So literally just keep flicking the switches. Um, once you flick them, some will go red, but they might go back green eventually. So just keep looking until you turn all of them red and then turn the lever on behind you. All lights red. Now where is that power switch? Rose, I need you down here now. Stairs on the right side. Go! Small talk bores me. Get on with it. Pull the switch, Rose! Pull the switch now! The hollow of the hand. You have to go! Damn, son! Ludwig's face looked fantastic then! Right, anyway, uh, go past Nicola, Nicola there and just go straight over. Jump. Excuse me, guys, could you get the hell out of my way? You dead, stupid sins of uh, wiener people. And have a look at the table here. This is where Ada's two notebooks are. Once you've got these two and she stops admiring them as the electricity goes to kill her, uh, turn around and go straight into the elevator. Go, Rose! You've got to go! What about you? I'll be fine! You go! This is the final chase scene. Now, I'm not sure. I think there's an exotic monster chasing you, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but just, yeah, don't stop for nothing. So, here we go down. Uh, the, 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 the screams are louder, which is always not scary. So, continue straight, and then we're going to take a right. And then just continue on. We're going to take a left now. So, take a left, sorry. Just up the steps. Almost got that one wrong. Take another left. When we come up to it, there it is. Uh, continue going straight, right, and then straight again. We are going to take a right in just a second. There it is, up the steps. Then we're going to take a right, and then we're going to go down, take a left, 
obviously continue on straight for a minute. We're going to take another uh, straight up the steps. So take a straight up the steps and then just continue straight, sticking with the right hand side, and that will be that section complete. Yarp. Now there's only one small puzzle, a couple of collectibles to grab, and it is the end of the game. Yes! Yes! So, for now, we're going to go into the right-hand side room and then just follow this path. How are you still alive? Tower Bell! Explanation for no another time. Very it can change everything. You're at the entrance to my private quarters. There's an emergency escape pod waiting. So this is the final area then. So first of all, once we get here, take a right and on the uh, 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 cork board, that's what I'm after, is the first collectible of this area. Turn around to the right and go straight ahead of you, past where we came through and interact with the P-Tube. If you've been following along with the video and you've got all the P-Tube messages, you will unlock the future letters achievement here. Or letters from the future or whatever. And then again, go directly in front of you on this desk is the next collectible for what looks like a BOOM, the Rift BOOM. Right, so what we need to do is uh, interact with levers in a specific way. So just wait until the electricity is done here. And then you need to go past uh, just the stairs, but to the left of the stairs, if you know what I mean. So effectively straight ahead. So interact, there's two levers, interact with the left one here first. Then we're going to turn around. Now just wait, <laughs> almost got my ass shocked. Wait for the electric to go and then you can simply just uh, fly straight ahead of us now. Interact with the leftmost lever, so the one at the back corner. Then interact with the right hand side lever here. There it is, and then we are going to go back again. Just watch out for the electric on acoustic, because you don't want to be shocked by that. That looks rather painful. Uh, head back through and then interact with the right lever here and that will finally switch off the electrocito. The juice is gone. Right then, so now we're gonna go and have a look at Tesla's bedroom. Let's see what kind of electronic erotic devices he keeps in there. Huh? <laughs> right, don't go to the right path. We need to go to the left path, as it turns out. And again, uh, we're going to take another left and then follow the path into his bedroom. Oh, wee wee wee. So, where is that globe? So, two collectibles and the whole game left to grab. First one, we're going to go past all of these tables and everything to the back of this sort of library area. Take a right and head up the stairs. And then take another right and another right on the bed. And uh, there's there's nothing too electronically erotic going on here. Just some more notes. So there's that one. And then we're going to head back down the stairs. Find the globe. The Hebegloben. The Hobengloben. Uh, which is just in this little area here. So interact with this one. We'll head down. This one. <laughs> My dear sister, I left you suddenly and without warning. For that and so much to come, I apologize. You knew all of this would happen. And finally, when we get down here, make an immediate left and left again. So you're doing a sort of 360. Have a look at this bookshelf. This is the last collectible. So you should now have, um, that is all of the collectibles in chapter 10. So what you need to do is just have a look on the bridge, enter the escape pod, interact with the lever to the right, and then that will um, unlock the final bunch of achievements in the game. So the final achievement, of course, being the, uh, for me anyway, was the finished chapter 10. Of course, if you've done this legit and somehow you've managed to get all this done in one playthrough, you will then unlock the achievement for completing the game, uh, completing the game in three hours or less, and completing the game without dying. Again, whichever way you've done that, 
I've just given you a choice. It's up to you how you do it. But uh, this should then get you the final achievement. guys and gals so thank you so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the game and i hope that the guide helped as well if it did of course don't forget to like comment subscribe and share with a friend as well as always a big massive shout out to everyone on my patreon uh, supporters and my youtube members i really really do appreciate it and for everyone who still interacts with me on the dailies thank you so much um <laughs> well i guess i'll see you in the next game pass game guys and gals uh in the next wired productions game pass game in just a few short days time so again thank you so much see you in the next one bigler